You know, I okay, I was gonna cut and like, but whatever, it's not a long trip. In fact, it's barely a trip at all. <laughs> In America, you watch movies. In Soviet Russia, movies watch you. Alright, anyway. Are we done yet? We're not done yet. We have to go fight Gold Bob, don't we? Yeah. Oh, well, we're going to upgrade our character. Yes. I know what we're doing. I do. Let's change to a uh, little guy so we can run. Oh. All right. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. So, which part number would you like me to power up? Last one. Shall I power up that partner? Shazzy! Shazzy! I'm gonna miss it. That'll be the last time. Now all of our partners are powered up to ultra rank. So, hooray! Then you may go. And probably we'll never come back. Alright, uh, just a second here. Let me figure something out. We have one, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, if there are, there are 42 different shine sprites, which is divided by six, yeah. So we shouldn't have another partner, I don't believe. All right. Oh, we have to go back down into the sewer thing and... Uh, Go to talk to Gold Bob, who I had no idea was Russian. I didn't know all bombs were Russian, so otherwise I would have, you know, I guess they're not all Russian, but saying "da" instead of "yes" is a pretty strong indicator of what voice you want me to do for that character. All right. Okay. Now, didn't we? We saw them in Poshley Heights, right? They were like they were in their house. I don't know. We'll find him. He apparently made a ton of money and then got himself coated in gold and changed his name to Gold Bob because, or Gold Bob because, like, I mean, if he was born gold, wouldn't it have been obvious to everybody? They'd be like, oh, he's going to make a million dollars someday. He's already gold. Like, eh, it's a penguin. Why aren't the penguin? What, like, why aren't those guys in, like, Far Outpost? Doesn't make any sense. Okay. There we go. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? Well, say, say. You must use a cannon at Far Outpost to save the world. Um, well, that is rather pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor, too, hmm? Yes, I should say. The truth is, I'd hope to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. For a matter of money, just how much would you pay, if I may ask? Um... Everything I have? What? You'd pay every p coin you own? All of them? You will really? Uh, so, really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yeah, I don't care. I mean, think of it, man! If you spend all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Yes. But hold on! I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yeah, shut up. I could really take them all, really. You won't say just kidding later on or that sort of time folder like that. Yeah. All right, then. Um, well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. 
So, uh, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Oh, and, uh, I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? Ha 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 ha. It's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. I knew you would. I knew you would. Now, soldier on, my boy. Okay. We got an email. An obnoxiously obnoxious email. Go by battle trunks. Boy, they stink. All right. Um, I don't need your stupid RDM issue. Yeah, I, I, I vaguely remembered that whatever money you gave him, he gave back. And I just figured that you had to say all of it to convince him of your... I don't know. To convince him that you're serious about saving the world, I guess. I don't... Like, seriously, who wouldn't? If, like, you needed something to save the world, and you knew that you could save the world, or you were the only chance, and, like, somebody asked you how much money you would pay to get the thing that you needed to save the world, wouldn't you just say, whatever I have? Like, it doesn't matter. Take everything I own. Who cares? If you wouldn't, there's something wrong with you. Like, seriously, wrong with you. You know, it would be like, I mean, even a, like, you know, like, the, the even the life of one loved one. If somebody said, like, well, I can save them, but it'll take everything you have. I mean, wouldn't you just say, like, I don't care. That doesn't matter. Like, I suppose maybe that's, maybe that's a harder question if you have more stuff than I do. <laughs> like, I have almost nothing. So, but I would hope. That even for the hardest hearted, like, richest person in the world, that that would be a no-brainer. You know? Like, I mean, there are people who blow fortunes worth of money trying to keep, you know, pets alive. You would hope, you would hope that if that, you know... That if a life were at stake, a human life. But some people, don't get me wrong, man. I, like, I have, uh, you know, I've talked to people who, like, um, you know, say that the difference is that people make their own choices and animals do not. So some people are a victim of their, you know, and I think, whatever, I think, I, you know, like, I don't know. I, I think human life should always be more, you know, should be almost of, always of the utmost value, but, like, uh, you know, I don't want to get into, like, a whole philosophical argument about what is and isn't valuable, but, like, I just wouldn't, I would like to think that, like, a human life would always, of a, of a decent person would always take precedent over money. I know that's not the case in the world that we live in, and that's a shame. Um, but, what am I doing? Going back to Far Outpost, I suppose, because we need to find General White. What is this chocolate bob I'm doing anyway? Da -da 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 -do. Every day is lucky day with a happy lucky lottery. Glad to see you. What can I do for you? I want a number. You're gonna buy a number. Happy lucky. It's only ten coins for new customers. Please give me ten coins. Okay. Thanks for your business. Now here's your number. Got a lottery pick. My number is seventy-two eighty-eight. Uh, you can use the same number to with the jackpot. Play lucky and happy. Go ahead and check the board right now to see if you've won. Okay. Okay. All numbers match. Three numbers match. Okay. Today's the winning number is 1989. Are you a winner? I don't, sorry, it's an unlucky day. No matches today. But every day brings a new chance to try again. Here's a consolation prize. Got a mushroom. Come again tomorrow. Okay. Whatever. So we can just sleep at the end and then <laughs> try again. Ah! We're going to Far Outpost! What am I doing? In my mind, she is a-wandering. I got all stuck talking about human life and the value. Alright. Down the pipe, and then we gotta walk back through monsters again. MONSTERS! I get on Pie Man, but it seems like it's easier to avoid. 
<laughs> Jeez. I, I had to start talking about avoiding monsters so that I could get hit by them. Oh, we're completely going to beat up that guy with the Ultra Shroom first. Uh, yep. You die now. Ha-ha! Take that, Ultra Shroom guy. Ooh, attack or defense? Probably defense. Defense, the plane, the <laughs> view. All right. Okay. Can we match it. That would have been a nice match. All right. Yeah, he looks so shocked. Okay. Bingo, bango, bongo, you're dead. Hopefully, he dropped that ultra shroom. That'd be cool. Well, it was a, it was a, a super shroom. It wasn't an ultra shroom. It's. But he did. Ah. We don't need an in coupon. Come on. All right. Ah, you piranhas! With your zigging and your zagging. Uh, whatever. I don't really. Oh, I better watch it. I don't have a lot of flower points. Nice. He didn't stylish it, though. Or hitting our action commands and stuff for defense, anyway. It's not bad. Okay, I guess I could take them all out with multi-bounce. That, at least, is convenient. I mean, soon we'll actually... You know, we could get a level up if we continue to fight monsters. It's not... Which isn't a bad thing. It's not a horrible thing. I mean, it's it's a pain, but it'd be all right. I could use more flower points, to tell you the honest truth. Well, we might get our wish. All right. Still gonna multi bounce you guys. Bang, 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 bang. So nice. All right. There's not really a lot he can do except for. What do we want to use for omelet um, meal? Gives us five. Is that the only thing we have? Oh, uh, whatever. We'll use this. It'll give us enough to at least, you know, do some other multiple attacks, I guess. Although we might have... At the end of this attack, we might just use the whack-a-bump. Because we can always go back and get another one off camera or something. It's not a big deal. All right. I got him down to two. Now if Mario would wake up, be in good shape. Because we have just enough to kill him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I'm in trouble. I gotta use this right now. And I, have a, I don't have an option. Alright. At least we'll, we'll survive another round. Oh, it's nasty. These guys are jerks. This is rough. I didn't realize, like... Alright. There we go. Whoo! 99! 99. Alright. 
first off, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight this guy. But uh, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some of these mushrooms to uh, make sure that we uh, have the ability to to survive. Because afterwards we'll get uh, afterwards we'll get um, what's it called? Wait a minute, I just... We can kill these guys in two turns using Koops' shell ability thing, so I don't know. Yeah, power shell. So we might as well concentrate on the rough puff, because he can't hit that. Alright. Well, that right there is enough star points to get us our bonus. There we go. Level up for us. And it's definitely flower points. We need flower points so bad. And look at the audience filled with daisies. It's appropriate. Oh, we became an A-list next battle. Something, something, something that I didn't pay attention to. All right. Please let Far Outpost have a save block. We got an email. I don't care about your email. I guess I should check it. Oh, I hate, I hate the email thing. It stinks. You. Is this the so-called, it's your worst nightmare. All right. I, uh, I actually kind of want to go through the ranks um, and fight Rockhawk again. I like Rockhawk. So, let's, uh, let's go over here. So you have permission of Goldbomb. Da, now we need General White. I heard he was seen in Petalburg. You head there. I wish I would have known that. All right, everybody. <laughs> When we come back, we will go find Gold or General White and get his permission. Eek. I say eek. Uh, you guys, thanks for watching. Take care and bye, everybody.